Hello everyone. In the question, we have to find first heat capacity for hot fluid and cold fluid. So here, heat capacity for hot fluid is given by C is equals to M is multiplied by C P is equals to. After solving this, we will get heat capacity for hot fluid is 0.639 kilowatt per Kelvin. So similarly, heat capacity for cold fluid, we can write Cc equals to M dot C multiplied by Cp C. So after solving this, we will get the value for cold fluid is 0 0.836 kilowatt per Kelvin. So here minimum is hot fluid. So therefore, C minimum is heat capacity for hot fluid which is equal to 0 0.639 kilowatt per Kelvin. So, now we have to find out the value of heat capacity C. So, heat capacity C equals to, we can write C minimum divided by C max, which is equal to 0 0.639 divided by 0 0.836. So, after solving this, we will get 0.764. So now here we have to find maximum heat transfer rate. So maximum heat transfer rate is determined by the equation Q dot max equals to C mean multiplied by temperature of hot fluid at inlet minus temperature of hot fluid at inlet. So now here we put these values. So here C minimum is 0 0.639 and inlet temperature of hot fluid is 150 and inlet temperature of cold fluid is 20. So after solving this, we will get Q max value is 83.1 kilowatt. So here maximum possible heat transfer rate is 83.0 kilowatt. So heat transfer surface area is given by the equation. A S equals to N into pi D L. Here N is the number of tube used and D is the diameter of the tube and L is the length. So here N is 8 multiplied by pi multiplied by diameter. A diameter value is 0 0.014 meter multiplied by length. Here length value is 5 meter. So after solving this, we got heat transfer surface area is 1.76 meter square. So now we have to find out the value of NTU. So the NTU value is NTU equals to UAS divided by C minimum. So now we put these values, therefore we will get NTU is 0 0.854. So from the table, Effectiveness of heat exchanger corresponding to C equals to 0 0.764 and NTU equals to 0 0.854 is given by effectiveness epsilon equals to 0 0.47. So now we got the value of rate of heat transfer. So rate of heat transfer is given by Q dot equals to effectiveness into maximum. multiplied by maximum heat transfer rate. So now we will get effectiveness is 0 0.47 and multiply by maximum heat transfer rate which is 83.1 kilowatt. So after solving this we will get 39.1 kilowatt. So now we have to find out the outlet temperature. So for outlet temperatures we will know that Q dot equals to Cc Tc out minus Tc in. Therefore, from here we will get the value of outlet temperature of cold fluid. So Tc out after solving this, we got the value is 66.8 degrees Celsius. Similarly, for hot fluid, we can write Q dot equals to C is 
ts in minus ts out so from here we will get ts out equals to 88.8 degree celsius so outer temperatures are for hot fluid is 88.8 degree celsius and for cold fluid is 66.8 degree celsius and this is our answer thank you